Okay, so starting another painting, uh, there's the sketch. And I wanted to talk for just a minute about the color palette. I've had a few uh, folks on YouTube ask me, uh, so uh, talk about your color palette. First of all, I use an El Cheapo watercolor palette that I got from Michaels. I say El Cheapo. Quite frankly, um, it wasn't cheap. But it's portable. It's really nice. Uh, it folds, folds up, and it's small. It's lightweight. And um, it's just easy to use. If I open it up and kind of look, um, taking it up here from the top, my, my color combinations are uh, uh, lemon yellow, or orange lake light. Then I've got a couple of raw sienna. I, I use a lot of, lot of raw sienna. Uh, yellow ochre. Um, I've got burnt sienna, burnt umber, um, alizarin crimson, a cadmium orange, um, crimson red, Chinese white. I use a couple of greens. I mix my greens most of the time, but um, I, I do have a couple of greens here um, for contrast. One of them is the, the permanent green. The other one is the viridian hue. And I've got some lamp black. I've got um, a little bit of violet, some Windsor blue, or some cobalt blue, Windsor blue, and finally ultramarine blue. So that's my palette. Uh, not a big whoop there, but that it is. There you have it. Uh, looking at brushes, um, I use, as you can see, I use mostly round brushes. Um, I've got a lot of specialty brushes. I've got a huge number of brushes. I probably have 50 brushes. But in the end, uh, my wash brush is this really large round brush. And I just find, because it's got a tip on it, it's a lot easier to do a wash and then just to go around things. So I use that and then I go to a smaller size when I need a little bit more detail in the wash and smaller even still and eventually I've got a detail brush. And then if I need an you know, additional brush, I'll use it. So anyway, that's my color palette. That's my brushes and ready now to do an initial wash on here and get this thing going. So here we go. Okay, so uh, first things first, um, I'm going to take a little bit of uh, what's called drawing gum. It's by PBO and it's liquid rubber. Uh, I'm going to block out some areas that uh, I'm probably just too lazy to take care of without using this. You know, you can, I mean, I see most artists who've been doing this for 30 years. They, they don't use this stuff. They do is uh, they just paint around it. I don't have the wherewithal to do all that, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be lazy. So anyway, I'll blot out some white areas, and the rest of it I'll start putting paint on. So I'm gonna speed it up. Here we go. So, uh, afternoon here, it's uh, now Sunday. I, I sketched this out yesterday and put some baseline colors on it. Uh, got a lot of it blocked out with masking fluid. Uh, put in the sky, and so now really I just need to um, lighten a few areas, uh, darken a few areas, put a little bit of detail in, take the masking fluid on, and blend. And so that's what I'll be doing here in the next little while. Probably take a couple, three hours, I'll have this one done. So anyway, we're going to speed it up, but I kind of wanted to give you a sense of what I'll be doing. So, hey, here we go. Mm -hmm. 